The film opens in Minnesota during a hostage crisis. A man named Ray is holding his family in his home, and one police officer has been shot. A team is sent in to rescue the family. They blow a hole through the wall and draw their rifles on Ray. He turns around to reveal he is holding his son. One of the agents, Will Sawyer, tells the men to lower their guns. Will talks Ray into letting his son go. He does, but then Ray pulls out a detonator, killing himself and his family, as well as most of the team members. Will is taken to the hospital in critical condition. There, he meets a surgeon named Sarah. Ten years later, Will is an amputee, missing his left leg below the knee and wearing a prosthetic limb in its place. He is working in Hong Kong and has been married to Sarah, with whom he has twins, Henry and Georgia. Will is set to go into a meeting with Xiao Long Jai, the architect behind the Pearl, the massive skyscraper that Will has been helping design and construct. Will is met by his friend Ben, who was there during the hostage situation and suffered burns to his neck. Will and Ben meet with Zhao and one of his business partners Mr. Peace. Zhao gives Will a tablet that scans his face and allows him access to the Pearl system. We see that Ben is messaging someone about Will taking the tablet, and the other person ordering Ben to get him on a boat. Will continues with Zhao on a tour of the Pearl, which has highly advanced technological developments that allows it to hold some kind of ecosystem, as well as a sky-high view of the city below him in a room that contains some kind of hall of mirrors. Will and Ben head on a boat back home, and a crook snatches Will's bag from him. Ben attempts to pursue, but the thief gets away. They get back to Ben's apartment, and Will reveals that he put the tablet in his jacket instead of the bag. Ben calls his boss and has to come up with a backup plan. Back in the Pearl in the basement, some criminals begin to break in. Meanwhile, Sarah and the kids return to their place in the building after Henry got sick on their day out. They meet two of the criminals disguised as staff members, and Sarah becomes suspicious of them. The criminals point out to each other that the family wasn't supposed to be there. They meet up with the rest of their team and start to spread powder across the floor that is ignited with water. The leader, Kors Botha, uses a flare to trigger the sprinklers, causing the powder to start a fire. Will starts to head back to the Pearl, but Ben pulls out his gun on him for messing up his plans, and also expressing his envy that Will got a good life after the failed hostage rescue while Ben was medically discharged and had to work for thugs. They start to fight as Ben pulls off Will's prosthetic, but Will still manages to hold his own while hopping around on one foot. It ends with Ben trying to shoot Will, but Will overpowers him and Ben accidentally shoots himself in the chest. Will tries to help Ben, but as he is dying, Ben tells Will that his family wasn't supposed to be in the Pearl and that the villains want the tablet. Will looks out the window and sees the Pearl's 96th floor on fire, realizing Sarah and the kids are there. As he tries to run out, more thugs show up and start to shoot at Will, forcing him to run out through the fire escape. He is found by Zia, both as ruthless henchwoman. She takes the tablet from Will and scans his face. Before the other thugs can kill him, police show up, giving Will a chance to run, but Zia escapes too. As Will makes it out onto the streets, he sees his face on a giant monitor, showing that a manhunt has been issued for him because it's believed he's involved with the fire in the Pearl. Police try to arrest him, but Will gets away and starts to head toward a crane next to the tower. Sarah tries to keep the smoke from coming in, which makes it worse because Henry has asthma. Elsewhere in the building, Zia and a group of gunmen kill the technicians while their hacker opens the vents in the Pearl to cause the fire to spread throughout more floors. Zia kills the hacker after his work is done. Will climbs up the crane and moves it in the direction of the Pearl, just as guards follow him and try to apprehend him. He manages to hook the crane into an open window, and he runs to the end to leap off and make it into the building. A whole crowd of people in the city watch as daring leap and applaud. Meanwhile, Inspector Wu and other law enforcement officials are monitoring the situation as they realize that Will is heading into the building for his family. Zhao becomes aware of what's happening, and he leaves with his bodyguard Oak to head to an escape chopper. However, once they get to the pad, Oak notices that the man in the chopper is not their pilot. Botha and his goons, along with Pierce, arrive to try and escape on the chopper once they take a flash drive that Zhao is in possession of. The gunmen shoot at them, hitting Oak, but Oak manages to shoot the pilot, causing him to steer the chopper toward the villains and making the chopper explode. Botha chases after Zhao, but he keeps himself secured in the penthouse. Sarah takes the kids away from their room to try and find a safer spot. Pierce finds them and tries to take them with him, but Sarah stabs him with a pair of scissors to let the kids run away. She tries to follow them but a pillar comes down and breaks the bridge to get across. Just before Pierce can attack Sarah, Will finds them and pushes Pierce off the bridge to his death. Georgia makes it to the top of a waterfall for safety, but Will has Sarah use a plank to get Henry back toward them. Will places Sarah and Henry in an elevator so they can get out of the building. Will cuts the elevator's chain, sending them dropping fast, but Sarah pulls the emergency brake at the right time, allowing them to survive. Two gunmen find Georgia and chase her. Will manages to find her and fight off the gunmen, 
but Botha finds them both and takes Georgia hostage in order for Will to find a way to get the penthouse open, or Botha threatens to throw Georgia off the roof. Will is then forced to override the security system, but he must walk across the side of the building and get behind the turbines where Zhao placed it. He ties a rope around himself and a weight to keep himself from falling. He manages to make it across and turn the system off to make the penthouse doors open. The turbines keep spinning, forcing him to make a fast jump. Will swings back, but the rope loosens and is wrapped around his prosthetic. It starts to loosen more until it completely comes off, but Will quickly catches himself and pulls himself back up. Zhao tries to close the penthouse doors again, but Will gets inside before they shut. Zhao points a gun at him, but Will takes him down and forces him to explain what is going on. On the ground, Sarah meets with Wu, who informs her of Botha and his history. Wu's partner still suspects that Will is plotting something and that Sarah may be in on it. But Sarah helps the investigation when she brings up that she saw Botha and his men wearing parachutes, indicating that they had always planned to jump to escape the fire. Zhao explains to Will that he had previously worked with Botha, who blackmailed him into paying him or else he wouldn't let him finish constructing the pearl. After paying Botha, Xiao had files on all crime syndicates that Botha was involved with, and they became aware of this and threatened Botha unless he got his hands on it. Will pleads with Xiao to help him since they have Georgia. Will and Xiao meet with Botha on the roof. Before Botha gives Georgia back, Xiao takes the flash drive and a gun as he attempts to escape himself. He orders Botha to give him a parachute, and Botha has one of his men do so. Will and Xiao then fight the villains as Xiao activates the Hall of Mirrors to trick the villains. Will goes after Georgia while fighting the villains and killing most of them. A grenade is tossed, causing a hole to blow out through the floor. Will has both a cornered and aims his gun at him, but he is holding Georgia and a grenade, which he threatens to set off if he gets shot. This places Will in the same situation as the hostage crisis. Botha orders him to return the flash drive. Before Will does so, he tells Botha, There's one thing you should know. I'm right behind you, revealing that Botha was talking to the mirror. Will kicks Botha off the ledge, and he is blown up by the grenade. Will takes Georgia and Zhao as they try to find a way to safety. Sarah is found by Zia, and the two fight until Wu arrests Zia, but not before Sarah knocks her out with a kick to the face. She takes the tablet and resets the pearls system in order to reactivate the anti-fire measures, allowing the fire to be put out. The helicopter comes to take Will, Georgia, and Zhao to the ground. Will asks Zhao what he will do next, and Zhao says he will rebuild. Will and Georgia reunite with Sarah and Henry as the crowd around them cheers for them. Wu meets Will and says he has an impressive family. Will says he's a lucky guy. The four of them then walk away to go home.